So to quickly summarize, we have a coronal mass ejection occurring from the east of region 3127 that does appear to be fully encompassing the SOHO imagery. We can see on Angstrom 304 the surface disruption right there. And we can see on 193 a beautiful display of this event as it uh, creates what's called a dimming section is where the cooler points and displacement of plasma is caused. So we'll see it coming up here. And you can see how much plasma is actually involved in this. It's deceptively a lot. <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but it's actually a lot. And we can tell a little more clearly by looking at the uh, SOHO imagery. And we have right here a full halo. Now this event is going to uh, come towards Earth, and we're probably going to see probably not a significant impact overall, but it is going to cause some disruption, mostly for the satellites and things of that nature. Uh, I don't think this is moving at a uh, extremely high speed, so from what I can tell thus far, this looks to be a 48-hour journey for a uh, ICME. So maybe 36 at best case, I would say. So 36 to 40 hours is my preliminary assumption. And we will see where it goes from there. And you can see Venus as well. <laughs> Hanging out uh, just right here in the little top. Right there. It's Venus. So yeah, we have uh, an ICME projected towards Earth. Probably 36 to 40 hours from eruption time. So something to look forward to maybe get a little more aurora uh, from the northern and southern portions of Earth.